back in the 50 under new coordinator Mark Dove. Minkhausen's throw is picked off by Norris Davis. Touchdown, North Carolina. 19-yard interception return. The Tar Heels came with their nickel defense, and a lot of times when you bring in that extra DB, good things do happen, especially when you've got a great player like Norris Davis. The ball was actually thrown over top of the receiver, though. All Davis had to do was catch it. Some guys might not have. Not a good throw by Minkhausen, but Norris Davis, Johnny on the spot, made the pickoff, the touchdown, and Carolina's gotten some big plays, not from their offense, but from their defense and special teams. And they were supposed to be weak defensively, but so far they look like they're doing a super job. Weatherington does a nice job with that snap. Kenny Miller on the kick. They slap hands, and North Carolina is out to a 17-7 lead. Well, we got the five DBs in there. There's Minkhausen dropping back. He had plenty of protection. I think the ball, he lost it up high. He didn't get through the football. The ball through, and as a result, it went over his head right to Norris Davis. Carolina has a touchdown. First interception return for a touchdown for North Carolina since 1983 when Bill Shepard did it. 17-7 North Carolina over Illinois. Back after this for your local ACC stations. Backfield, the fake to Thompson, the fake to Dorn, going up top, wide open, Eric Lewis, at the 30, at the 15, touchdown, North Carolina, Eric Lewis. 58 yards. That's a play that we saw him work on in practice the other day, Gary. Eric Lewis moves back into the full house backfield. Mark May made a, just a tremendous fake in there to both backs, held the ball down. The lineman made it look like run. That's the key, too, because if you don't, the DBs won't come up. And there come Eric Lewis out of the backfield. Now let's give credit where credit is due. We asked the question, would North Carolina go conservative? Third and inches, Bart Starr couldn't have done it better going up top. I don't believe so, and I like Dick Crumb's attitude. He's changed it up a little bit. He's got a good quarterback. He's got a good football team. And he's got a pretty good kicker who can run from punt formation and adds the extra point here. And it is 24-7 North Carolina. Third down and one. Offensive lineman. Run block. Fire out. Make a great fake by Mark May. Let's get Lewis out the backfield. Look at this now. He's Johnny on the spot. There he goes. Home run. You don't think the cornerback bit? Oh, did he come up? See, they look in the backfield and they just they check the lineman as well as the backs. Great. great so North great Carolina ex has opened it up 24 to 7 9 25 to go third period we're at keenan stadium in chapel hill and we'll be back here after this for your local acc stations the pitch to torin dorn dorn has great speed into illinois territory could be gone taylor trying to cut him off dorn cuts back touchdown north carolina yard run. Tar Heels. Weatherington holds, and no problem. Well, we talk about killer instinct. Here's the toss back to Torn Dorn. Big block by Daryl Parham, the tight end, and then a tremendous cut right here by Dorn. Gets outside. Watch Quentin Smith, 87. Talk about receivers. He comes across the field, and you'll see him. There he is. He didn't stop playing, and look what he does. Just enough to get him by there for the touchdown. Great call, Roman. That's good work by Quinn Smith. When you got red britches on the ground, the white pants can run. Look at these people blocking for the Tar Heels. I like this effort by Quentin Smith. He could have stayed on the other side of the ballpark. That little bit gave Torn Dorn a chance to score the touchdown. 31-7. No offense. Leaving the field as you look at some of the Tar Heel faithful. Kenny Miller will have to boot it away. And barring any surprises, Illinois will go into the locker room with a lead at halftime. Low snap, good shortstop like job by Miller, and then Miller, is he still going to kick it? Now he's going to run, and he's going to get the first down. Miller's still on his feet, and Miller at midfield, look out this. Can he run him down? Can Miller be run down? At the 15-yard line, down he goes. 
<laughs> Woo, what a play. What a play. I think that was Darrell Usher that caught him from behind, Gary. It was Darrell Usher. No wonder Miller couldn't run away from Usher. He runs 4-4, but what a play. Unbelievable. 55-yard run by the puncher, Kenny Miller. Boy, Miller was going to kick it, pulled it back, was going to kick it again. Said, oh, the heck with it. Let's see if I can get the first down. <laughs> Got a face mask, so they get a little bit more yardage tacked on. Let's correct the run. 58 yards, we're now told. I tell you what, this is worthwhile looking at several times. A low snap. We talked about at the top of the show. There might be some of these, but what a play. Look at this. Two tackle. You don't expect a guy like that, a kicker, to make you know, two he miss. He came to North Carolina as a quarterback. He's been a flanker in the past, and he's showing you some of those skills. That just goes to show you that kickers that were quarterbacks have some skills they can do other than punt and kick. But look at the fellow. There's a face mask right there. Darrell Usher got him from the right side. Just a great, great play. He ran a little low on the octane as he got inside the 20, and Usher ran him down. But a great play by Miller in North Carolina. I said, barring any surprises, that was certainly a surprise. That from, was. from the Illinois point of view, anyway. First down and goal now from the nine-yard line. Full house. Over a minute to go. Well, now under a minute, 56 seconds. And here goes Eric Lewis inside the five to the four-yard line. Gabriel De La Garza, the linebacker transfer from SMU on the stop. Well, they got the full house, and Eric Lewis, the receiver, gets the pitch here. He comes around the side. They're just trying to lead the way. He almost got himself free. Nice play by the Tar Heel offensive front. Only 28 seconds to go. First half, the clock winding. Second and goal from the four. Full house backfield. Fake to Thompson. Pitch out to Torin Dorn. Can he turn the corner? Torin Dorn turns on the afterburners. Touchdown, North Carolina. Michigan. His parents are here today. We told you how jittery he's been all week. He's worked out the butterflies by now. He had some extra jets to turn on to get that touchdown. That sort of puts the bed maybe that he might not have the speed. It looked like he had a lot of speed there as he turned that corner. And Kenny Miller, who set up the touchdown with a great run from punting formation, adds the extra point. It is 10-7, Carolina. Nice fake in the middle there by Mark May to his fullback, Thompson, and Torndorn. Watch the acceleration around the corner as he goes for the end zone.